Doge is testing a major resistance level and if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. We are nearing to almost 200 Telegram members. If you guys want to stay up to date with my charts as well as my trades, make sure to check out the link in the Hey guys, George here. Welcome back to another Doge analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in free $600 Bitcoin, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see on Doge, we are bouncing off a very crucial midterm support level here at 0.08. This, of course, was no surprise. You can see that we did see a very nice manipulation wick going all the way up to 0.08. 085 market open today and we saw a very nice push right back into the downside and we are remaining into this neutral territory right now in terms of a bullish case scenario what i'm trying to see is whether or not doge can break above 0.088 use it as support and then a stronger continuation looking at previous price you can see that in terms of resistance we saw multiple wick opportunities trying to break above but we failed to hold this level as support once we broke support we saw a massive massive move to the downside and of course right now this is not looking good for doge at all i'm focusing very strongly on 0.075 for those of you that are in the telegram channel you guys already know that reason is because of the fact this area tends to be a very nice support level shorting opportunity what we're looking for is of course the fact that you can see that we've already tested this level three times this would become the fourth test opportunity and on the fourth test we tend to see a massive breakdown level the question of course becomes where exactly is doge going to head after that well we have our daily support at 0.057 the only problem is we've already been testing that level multiple times so the fact that this could be another area of opportunity to the downside this may as well make a new lower low on doge on the hourly time frame you can see that doge of course is consolidating right in between those exponential moving averages but we actually managed to break below that level after this hourly bart formation played out this is why bart formations are very important to keep in mind as you guys trade into the lower time frames these tend to have very manipulated wick opportunities with no move to the downside just a straight candlestick upwards and then we start to consolidate and that nine out of ten times tends to be a manipulation move and you can actually look for that shorting position as soon as we saw that break of those emas you can see that was pretty much a very decent trade opportunity right now if this midterm support level on the hourly ends up breaking at 0.08 this would mean the fact that doge of course is ready for that continuation to the downside but looking at previous price analysis I do notice something very interesting on the hourly time frame we have been in this situation before where we actually had an inverse BART formation I talked about this in yesterday's video where this could have technically been that inverse BART formation but the difference is the fact that we saw a lot more bearish pressure than what we saw previously over here so this is easily a manipulated move off weekend volume I'm looking here in terms of the daily time frames and I'm still noticing the fact that we did see that exponential moving average retest which I did talk about in yesterday's video where Doge will end up going to retest those EMAs and immediately after reject. But as of right now, we did see that rejection pattern. So it's going to be very important for us to see that continuation from a bearish perspective. What we don't want to see from the bearish perspective, of course, is multiple retests on these exponential moving averages, because that would mean the fact that bulls are obviously still in control. And this is easily a fake out situation. The reason why I always recommend not looking for any trades in between these levels, because these are consolidation zones. When we're consolidating, it's going to be very hard for you guys to look for entries but right now in terms of a bullish case scenario the only entry we really have would be above 0.088 otherwise every time we look for that long opportunity or a breakout opportunity we're only looking for shorting positions but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in free 600 bitcoin make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have a wonderful